Hey guys, welcome back to Daily Duels. So, how many of you guys guessed that it'd be the return, return of Cleplay? Did you guess that? Well, if you did, then you were correct. Then yes, this is the deck that's coming back. Um, uh, there's a couple reasons why I brought this deck back. There's a couple of reasons. So, one of the reasons why I brought this deck back is because um, the meta. The meta. Uh, if you guys do not know, when it comes to Daily Duels, I generally like to have, like, you know, the top decks in, uh, you know, you know, the decks that are topping on Daily Duels so I can play them and therefore, you know, learn how to play them and learn how to beat them. So, uh, it's one of the reasons why it's on here. This card is trying to be a ton of shit. Yeah, I'll go ahead and summon you. No, that's one of the reasons. Another one of the reasons why is uh, because I'm going to be running the new cards, like OCG, so we can kind of get a taste of what's to come with the next pack in a, what, Secrets of Eternity? So, Assembler is one of those cards. Uh, it's pretty much one of the one of the reasons why I doubt you will be seeing, um, you know, particular cards like, uh, you know, Trampling's being played because Assembler would be taking that spot. You know, Assembler is actually pretty good. So, um, if you do not know, Assembler pretty much, uh, during the end phase, it just, uh, if you tribute summon it, you draw that many monsters equal to the number of monsters tributed. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> Last story from another planet. That's cute, so I haven't seen that fucker in a while. So this guy's pretty much like one of the biggest dicks in all of Yu-Gi-Oh. If you do not know, he is a serious dick. Uh, so pretty much, uh, there's a reason why Metamorphosis is still gone. <laughs> because, uh, you know, that card pretty much makes it so you don't get to play Yu-Gi-Oh, which is just totally a searchable skill drain. All right, now I understand why they run this at one, so I'll probably put that to one, you know, because it's searchable. I totally forgot. So searchable skill drain, yeah, you know, in OCG they run it at one. You know, I took a lot of uh, you know, references from OCG, etc., etc., etc. So. Try to figure out what to do with this guy. My problem is, is that I can attack him to him, and then I can play Skill Drain. But then, if he, of course, has a response, and then he ends up taking out my carrier, then I can't do anything because I can't even summon to even take this guy out. Because you know, as long as card means it fits our field, near play could normal summon, special summon, or flip summon. So you can't summon. Like this guy is a dick. Like think about Metamorphosis is legal. Like turn a Dragon Roar into this asshole. Like no, 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 no. So. That's what that's what I'm worried about right now. That, that's what I'm worried about. So, and of course, I can't normal summon. I can't even. I can't do anything. You know. Uh, this card was attributed. You can target one monster on the field and return it to hand. Maybe if I do that, let's let's try it. Let's try it. Hell yeah. Yes. Like you can go the fuck away. And I'm gonna get my second search. Like I said, I could always play Skill Drain, but I'm trying to handle this situation without revealing that I have the Skill Drain, of course. Um, what do I want? What would you do if you got everything that you wanted in the duel? Um, I'm running one killer. I'm running two Alice alias. Yeah, this is actually pretty good. What do I want? I could get a killer. I can go for killer next turn, depending. Yeah, you know, I'm gonna go for killer. Cause I can go for killer next turn. Like, yeah, you could just go ahead and put that back. Oh, you're just gonna quit. You're like, nope, I can't handle it. I can't handle it. So, once I got rid of that freaking uh, <laughs> that last. Warrior from another planet, he just scooped it up. Alright, we'll go ahead and get another Dolan. Be right back. Alright, let's try this again. Let's get another Dolan. So, yeah, Klee put her back. Let's enjoy them. Wow, alright. Well, I'm definitely gonna Summoner's Art. Who? Who are you calling the Witch Whore? I guess they're calling you Belle the Witch Whore? I guess. Alice, alright. After the summoner's art. So let's see if they fix the glitch on here. Because there's actually a glitch on here where you couldn't 
you can't search um, uh, assembler with summoner's art. Nope, still can't. Okay. I don't, I, I don't understand that. I don't understand why you can't search assembler. It doesn't make any sense to me. Maybe I'm in the wrong, but I don't know. I, I just don't see it. So I'll go ahead and pay my 800, unless you want to respond with something. No? Alright, then I'm going to go get ahead and get assembler. Set my scale up, and, uh, you know, be chill with it. Go ahead and play you. So, uh, I guess I should be telling you guys about my, um, my, uh, Tuesday. So, and probably the reason why you're wondering why the title of this video is why it's titled like that, you know. Yeah. Why it's called, you know, um, competition. So, I'll get to that, I'll get to that, I'll get to that. So, um, yeah, this is my last Tuesday, the end of the semester. Uh, my final. The, I did not have my calculus final. We had a review. But for women's studies, it was the final. It was definitely the final for women's studies. So, uh, for the final for women's studies, uh, she said not to show up late. I showed up late. Not like, no, like a half an hour late, but I was a couple minutes late, you know. Alright, sure. There's going to be a lot of this with this deck, so get used to it. Alright, anyway, be right back. Alright, more fun with Cleepoid. So, just kind of tweak the deck a little bit. I dropped that one card down to, um, one, since it's searchable. Totally forgot that it was searchable. Oh, okay. Hmm. Okay. That's a really powerful card. That's just something from your deck. Like, wow. He's gonna use the power of song to beat me, huh? This will be interesting. Lots of skill drains. Lots of skill drains. No, just gonna normal summon it. You know how Klee's are. Alright, Fuka Chov. Okay, and what do you do? Oh, well, I can't destroy my battle, but I can at least get, you, get that 100. Unless I have Course Forbidden Chalice, but it's not worth it. It's not even worth it. So this is Soul Turner one. It's a really good card. Uh, pretty much I, you know, tribute, uh, on, if I control no special summon monsters, I can tribute one level four lower, level four, normal slash set monster, draw two cards. Yeah. So pretty much I have my own fucking, uh, pot of greed. So, I know. Alright, go ahead. I'm chill. Uh, anyway, uh, what are you blind spacing? My soul turnover? No, that's fine. I have another one. Alright, two skill drains. Ridiculous, like, most definitely, most definitely, most definitely this card should not be at three, but, hey, what you gonna do, right? Oh, summoner's heart. So Klee put, we of course no, they're just gonna get stronger guys, like, they're just gonna get stronger. So, I'll go ahead and activate scout. You got another MST for me, sir? I already had one, let's see if you got another. Yeah, it's not, it's not smart to get blind space and Klee put. You know, I'm clearly going against Klee put, you should have saved that MST for my scout. But instead, you decide to go ahead and just blind space and you hit my soul turnover, which is just kind of like, okay, sure. Really don't care. Okay, assembler. I'm going to try this assembler at one. Uh, the OCG runs him at one, so I'm going to go ahead and try him at one. Just see how he turns out. No. Yeah. Like I said, I can, I can reveal that I have skill drain whenever I feel like it. No, I'm gonna go ahead and skill drain. I'll go ahead and just skill drain it right now. So of course I go back to my original type. Ooh, trap stun. Interesting. So that's what you had. Oh, that's cool. You could survive one more turn. 
No, that's cool. You can survive, survive one more turn. I don't care that. Alright, go ahead. So, skill drain goes into effect. I go back to 24. You go back down to your respective attacks. Because skill drain is such a dick card. Shouldn't be at 3 at all. But. Cleepo the Tiger has their own searchable skill drain. So, that would be fun. But I can understand why in OCG they only run one, because that it's searchable. I totally forgot that it was searchable too. Scout. I forgot Scout search for Cleepwood cards, you know. He can of course search for stack so I don't even know why I didn't think that he could, but alright. <laughs> Cause I'm not smart. That's why. Cause I'm not smart. Skeldrin's a dick, like, shouldn't be at three. Yeah, at all. Wow, I actually wanted to activate something during my end phase, but alright. If you control no special summon monsters, should be one level monster, you draw two cards, you're planning to be one so That's true. If you can own no special summon monsters, I don't. That's true. Target tribute one face up level. Oh, you're not level four anymore because of skill drain. Ah, I didn't think of that. Like, what can I? What can I use you? Like, because I don't have a level four anymore. Like, ah, cheeky cheeky game. I see you. So this is their surgical skill drain. So when level four lower monster is no to negate its effect till the end of this turn and. And when a level 5 or higher special summon its effect is also negated until the end of the turn, and then it banishes the field and leaves, so... But they actually lose the field at 4, you know, so... Yeah. Of course, I don't have a Kleepa card, but I do, so... Yeah. Who do I have on the field right now? I can target one monster on the field and turn it, so... Uh, I guess I'll go ahead and get me, uh, a Helix. Which is totally fine. Yeah, normal summon. Why not? Oops. I meant normal summon it without a tribute, but that's fine, I guess. I fucked up, but... I can fuck up because I'm using fucking Cleepoid. And I could just pendulum summon him right back, so... Cleepoid's so strong. So strong. Yeah. Maybe one day they'll become stronger than Burning Abyss. It's, it's, it's that lake. If lake never existed, then Cleepoats would definitely be the number one deck. But Fire Lake is just so damn good that it's redonkulous. So, yeah. Anyway, this whole turnover is not looking so hot with Skill Drain. So, <laughs> didn't even think of that. Oh well. Well, if he ever gets rid of my Skill Drain, but drawing into multiple... Oh, man, damn it, I didn't activate Assembler. I'm dumb. I'm dumb. I keep fucking up. Totally forgot about Assembler. Well, next turn I'll go ahead and search for... I don't know. Doesn't matter. Disc. It could be Disc. It could be... What's its face? Uh, uh, at Alias. Just tribute those two. Summon. Use the effect of whatever. You know. Then during the other phase I would draw two. So you'd pretty much draw a number of cards equal to monsters that you tributed. So. Not bad. No. That's fine. Alright. So, uh, yeah, allow me to talk. Because um, you need, you want you guys to know. So, the final was pretty chill. It was what I expected it to be. So, the first part, she had, like, some charts that she had. And pretty much you had to, um, pay 800 life points for Scout. You had to just fill in the blanks on the charts. They're simple, you know. No, nothing you wouldn't know if you haven't been paying attention to, in class. Yeah. So, I was chill. Um, do I want... Oh, it doesn't matter who I get because skill drain is in effect, so... I said it doesn't matter if I get disc or... Or, uh... Alias, it doesn't matter. Alright. Go ahead and normal summon. Yes. I'll tribute these two. Yes. Yes. Doesn't matter. Just <laughs> affects and get it anyway. 
So, let's try that. Carrier. I really don't care. Well, I gotta return someone. Sure, we'll go ahead and return to her. We'll do a little running gag where I'll keep returning her. And then I can just pendulum summon these two right back. And then during my end phase, I'm gonna draw two cards. Like, re fucking ridiculous, Cleeplet. Re fucking ridiculous. Like, what the fuck were you smoking when you came up with this shit, Konami? You weren't. You were smoking. You, you weren't thinking. You were smoking on good shit, though. You wanted Pendulums to be good? You made them good. You made them fucking donkeyless. No. Tell you the truth, I wouldn't even play Skill Drain if it wasn't necessary. Sure, I'll go ahead and set that. I could have ended this duel, but it's cool. I'm having fun, so let me show you Assembler. So, I tributed two monsters, right? I draw two. Fair, right? Because <laughs> generally you neg when you tribute, but then of course you can just pendant some of the monsters like that, and then you draw. So even if you were to neg when you tribute, you would still even out because you would still draw to how many monsters you tribute. So, you know, some decks would, would, love, would love to have that ability. So Assembler, you know, he's going to be up there, definitely. Like, is it over? Do you want to go ahead and just admit defeat so we can go ahead and get the next duel in? So... Simply just attack it in the door. Finish? No. Oh. <laughs> Don't forget me. Alright, so we'll get one more duel. One more duel. We are back. Alright, back again. Let's use them clee ports, them clee puts, them cliff forts, them whatever you want to call them. Because they are called by many different names. Well, this hand's not terrible. It's not the best of hands, but it's not at least it's not terrible. Yeah. I could probably trick him into hitting me for the forbidden chalice. And of course I get fucking scout. I didn't even have to search for it. I just top deck right into it. Re fucking ridiculous. Give me a assembler. You know what's fucking re fucking ridiculous? You know what's re fucking ridiculous? What's re fucking ridiculous is the fact that I can go for it, killer next turn, next fucking turn I can go for killer, towers and then this duel, and this duel. Like if we can get around towers, then I would be amazed. Of course I got limit removal, or I, I, also known as stupid removal, because they're all machines, so double my attack. Like oh yeah, let me just go to 42 on your ass. Like goddamn. And of course I'm destroyed in the end phase, which is totally fine because I'll just go back to the extra deck and I'll just be back next turn with the pendulum summon. Is that okay? Yeah. So re fucking ridiculous. Am I right or am I right? I could forbid and chalice that bitch. No, I'll allow you to commit. I'll allow you to go for the exiton, because I think that's what you're gonna go for, right? Star drawing. No. Does that mean you're gonna go for Utopia? Yeah, that means you're gonna go for Utopia. You fucking Topia! Too strong! I'm not ready. I am clenching my butt cheeks right now. Utopia! <laughs> oh, oh, I just just from Utopia's strength. <laughs> Utopia! <laughs> Utopia. <laughs> oh, that'd be too much fun. Hello. <laughs> that was funny. I actually saw someone's ban list prediction. They predicted that this card would get banned. <laughs> like, why? Like, no one cares. Like, second, if you're running Utopia, then you should get a card like that. Like, more power fucking to ya. <laughs> no, that's fine. Keep paying them like points, baby. Whew. Whew. I need to clean myself off. Ooh, so. If an equipped monster is destroyed by Battle Jones, that card is equipped to monster, your opponent cannot target that monster 
with card effects. Mm. Okay. Whew. Utopia is too strong for me. You gonna use your effect? Right? Use your effect. Randomly MSTing. What you MSTing? Scout. Ah, that's fine. I said you drew into a lot of shit, so I'm um, not really shocked right now. Ouch. Go ahead and give me a scout. <laughs> like, hello? It's like, if you're not searching with scout with that, then that's what you should be doing. Like, good players know to search for scout. Oh my god, Utopia is too fucking strong. I just lost to Utopia. Oh shit! <laughs> oh, that's too hilarious. Oh my god. Oh my god. I lost to Utopia. <laughs> ah, I'm not even salty. That's funny. <laughs> like, wow. Utopia is too strong. Like, no. I could have I could have clearly stopped him with Forbidden Chalice, but I didn't know he was going to have both of them. But, you know, he drew into a lot of cards, so no surprise there. But Utopia, too strong. <laughs> I don't know how I'm talking shit. Utopia is not bad. I was just, it's just the running gag, so. I lost to Utopia with Cleaput. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god he did do pretty well though you know what's funny I cut this all could have been hindered if I was just forbidden chalice the goldfish but I'm not I was I was gonna humor him I was gonna humor him I humored him and I got punished for it so that's hilarious you know I've been sitting there like hm, yeah I'll be creep put I'm so cool like nah I could have stalked you a long time ago but I was funny I let on I allowed you to do that sir so I hope you enjoyed <laughs> You deserve it. You deserve it. If you're going to go around running around using Utopia, then hey, more power to you, man. I can beat anybody's ass with Klee Put. So, you know, if I can make you happy by, you know, allowing you to win with Utopia, all right. Anyway, let me finish talking. So, uh, like I said, the final hit hat, like, you know, some graphs that she showed us in class, they were like, you know, the graph on the, like, the first or second day of class, and then there's a graph at, like, near the end of the class and you pretty much just filled in the blanks of the class easy then on the back side there's fill in the blanks you give you a word bank you just read the sentence and filled in the blanks some of them were kind of like i don't know i'm guessing so you know like one of them is like discrimination and you know when you discriminate you are you know doing and i was like uh racism and i put uh uh you know homophobia and then i put like i think racial profiling i was just like, i don't know i'm guessing then the um she gave you three essays you had to write on two of them one of them was actually on a YouTube video that she told us to watch over the weekend but I didn't so I didn't write about that one and the other one was about how you know advertisement affects us affects gender class or race and you had to write about two of those and then um, then the other question was about how the yeah, economy is affected by gender race or class and you know uh, why is it affected by that specific gender race or class and how to resolve it so Blah, boring. Finished that test in like, like not even 20 minutes. I was just done. You know, turned in my paper and left. You know, I, I don't like saying bye to teachers because it really gets awkward. But yeah. <laughs> anyway, um, after that, I had like a cool minute. Like, I say, almost an hour before class. Next class started calculus. So, um. I decided to uh, go ahead. I'm actually smart because I was like, I'm going to finish my test early. So I'm, I'm going to have time to go ahead and go to the bookstore and return my uh, my women's studies book. So that's exactly what happened. So I ended up going to the bookstore, returned my women's studies book. Right after I got on like, you know, my women's studies class, I was like, nope, don't need this book anymore. You know, so I went up to the guy, handed the book, and he's like, it looks in good condition. I'm like, it should. I never opened it. <laughs> never read it. <laughs> Not a single page. I think I read a, one page, you know, from that book. And I was like, nope, I quit. This is boring and dry. So, yeah. So... He's like, well, you know, what number did you use to, you know, check the phone number? So I gave it to him. And then he's choice. He's checking my identity, and he was like, he was like, "What's your name, Daniel?" I'm like, "Is that your question?" My name is Daniel. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> like, he's like, "Oh, okay." No, uh, I returned my book. So that was the only book I needed to return. So that's good. So I kind of just chilled with my friend John. Uh, you know, we were in class with each other in Calculus One and Calculus Two, and we're gonna be in class with each other in Calculus Three all the way up. 
So, uh, you know, he was there early. He's like, I always get here this early. And like, wow, you you always get to class an hour early? Like, fucking dark nerd. Like, all right. So, <laughs> we kind of just choked. We were just talking about women, like usual. So, you know, I told, I told her, I told him about, uh, you know, show girl. And I was going, show girl's been fine. You know, I text her every day. Every day we've been texting, which is awesome. But, uh. This is where the, the whole competition thing comes in. Ten. But you know what? You know what? I'm not going to tell you guys about that. Nope. 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 Change it. Change it. You know? I'm going to talk about this tomorrow. Tomorrow. Because you know what? Tomorrow, I don't do anything. I, I you know, usually Mondays and Wednesdays. Wednesdays, I have education and women's literature. But those classes are over. So tomorrow, I am going to tell you about this whole, you know, you know competition thing. That you guys would definitely want to hear. Plus, you know. Definitely, I need to fill out the story a little bit more. There's still some pieces missing to it, but, you know, yeah. I need her to text, text me a couple more times before I can fill out the story completely. So you'll get that tomorrow. But, uh, anyway, welcome Klee Puts back. You know, Utopia Too Strong, definitely. But, uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. So, I don't mind Klee Put. You know, the deck is powerful. I want it to be on here because I want to have all the meta decks. So, of course, we have Teller Knights, we have Burning Abyss, we have Shadows. Now we have Klee Put again. So we have all four of the top decks on... You know, either Vitamin Y or Daily Duel somewhere on the channel. I am using the decks, the cards from the, of course, the OCG. So we can go ahead and, um, you know, uh, see how more powerful this deck will become. And, um, you know, it's a cool deck. It's easy to use and it's easy to talk, you know, because not much happens. But it's still just a very powerful deck. And, of course, I want to see how the deck will function after the ban list hit. So, you know, right now in the deck, there are triple children and triple vanity. So if those get hit, then we can, of course, edit the deck and change it accordingly and, um, you know, see how that works. So, yeah. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of Daily Duels of Klee Put. Like I said, if you don't want Klee Put back, I apologize. You can always just not watch the episodes of Klee Put. But, um, you know, under the law of Daily Duels, which set up by me, and also, why not have him back? So I hope that you guys enjoyed despite that. So thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. You guys you guys probably just like Utopia beating me, didn't you? That's probably the highlight of this freaking episode. So yeah. Alright, so I hope that you guys enjoyed. So thanks for watching. Oh yeah. Speaking of, I know that Utopia is too strong because my extra deck is filled with Utopias. So yeah, I know. I know. Like my you my extra decks my Utopias and extra deck give him strength. So <laughs> Utopia too strong. Alright. So I hope that you guys enjoyed. So thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. And I will see you guys tomorrow using the other top tier deck, of course, Burning Abyss. All right. Thanks for watching.